Hi, welcome to this video day, which is all about best Forex trading tips for beginners. If you follow these tips, learn and understand them, you will learn Forex trading the right way and become a consistently profitable trader. Now, the tips actually come from Charlie Munger, one of the richest and most successful investors, traders around today. Um, he's worth 1.6 billion. You may not have heard of him. He actually works with Warren Buffett, effectively Warren Buffett's partner for the last 40 years. And he maintains that anyone, if they use common sense and learn trading in the right way, can win. Now, his tips um, will definitely help you trade Forex successfully and avoid the mistakes the 90% of losing traders make. So let's go to a storyboard and I'll discuss the tips in more detail. And when I finished with the tips, I'm going to finish up with my 10 favorite quotes from Munger, which are really educational, very motivational as well. Right, let's review the tips. All right, let's have a look at uh, 10 tips from Charlie and Munger for trading success. Then we'll go to uh, my favorite quotes from him. Now, in terms of point number one, motivation for trading and financial freedom. Uh, yeah, Charlie Munger said that's why he wanted to trade. He desperately wanted financial freedom. He said he didn't want Ferraris or excessive wealth. He just wanted financial freedom. He thought trading could give it to him and he had a deep passion for doing it. Now, in terms of motivation for trading for most beginners that come in the market, the overriding motivation is I want to make money quickly. OK, now, in terms of if you want to make money quickly or you just want to make money from trading, you're not really interested in trading, you're going to lose because greed will come in to play and greed uh, destroys traders. There's many businesses that can give you financial freedom. Yeah, Charlie Munger just happened to pick um, trading. He knew it would be hard work. Um, and when I say hard work, the inevitable learning curve that you have to go through as a trader, which can take you know, six months, a year, maybe longer to get really confident and competent. A lot of traders think they're going to walk in to the market, start trading and make money consistently pretty soon. That's probably not going to happen. It's going to take time. Yeah. And uh, you, beginners in particular should keep this in mind, you know, because it's very important. Yeah, there are a lot of people selling get rich quick in Forex. And the amount of YouTube videos I see with Ferraris, Rolls Royces, whatever Porsches, you know, supposedly they're fantastic apartments overlooking the sea. <laughs> they're all actors. Yeah. Um, this is not a get rich quick business, but it is a fantastic business. Uh, point number two, intellectual humility and know your competence. Um, what you want to do when you come into trading is get a style of trading that suits you, learn it, practice it, get a deep knowledge of it and stick to it. OK, and don't go outside of your competence. OK, there's many different ways of trading. Just basically get the method or the strategy you're comfortable with. Stick with it. Um, what you don't know is more important than what you do know is what one famous trader said, who I can't remember who it was. It wasn't Charlie Munger, but he makes the same point. You know, when Charlie and um, Warren Buffett are looking at uh, investments to do, they have uh, a simple way of doing it. Yes, no, too complicated to bother with. We don't understand it. A lot of traders do things they don't understand. and. What they'll do is they'll follow someone else. They'll see a news story. They'll jump in on the trade. They don't understand the trade. OK, the news story is just news. It's stories. You've got to know what you're doing. OK, and stick to it. Don't go outside your competence area. OK, uh, point number three, keep it simple, but avoid narrow focus. Um, yeah, despite the fact that yeah, forex trading will take you a little time to master. Anyone can do it. Best trading strategies are extremely simple. Um, however, you've got to ignore, oh, sorry, avoid narrow focus, as Munger says, because it's not all about the strategy. Yeah, a lot of traders actually think, you know, a strategy is you do X, Y, that's it, and then Z is the result. And you just sit back and see your money come in. Um, you are very involved in trading. Trading is probably only about 20% method in my view, probably about 80% psychological 
you've got to decide how much money to bet, how much um, you want to risk. You've got to manage open profits, um, decide when to bank, not bank early, and all this sort of thing. Um, so you actually have to make your strategy work. And in terms of um, narrow focus and avoiding it, if you were to look at the great traders, I'll give you two examples. Ray Dalio, uh, biggest hedge fund manager in the world, he credits his success at trading to meditation. Okay, because he says it helps give him a clear focus, keeps him balanced. It's that important. Uh, Paul Tudor Jones, another legendary trader, pays uh, Tony Robbins a million dollars a year to help keep him focused. This is a trader who's been trading for 30 years. And there's many other examples of you know, traders who use you know, mindset techniques to keep them sharp, focused and see the reality. Here we're big fans uh, of Eastern psychology, for example. Um, and our way of trading is very much based on Taoism, you know, outside of the method. Okay. Uh, also really interested in other disciplines that could help us with our trading, like Bayes theory to help us think clearly. There's two examples. You know, it's not a narrow focus when you trade. You have a simple method then you have other inputs to help you filter your trades, keep you focused and disciplined. Now, if you're going to win at anything, you need independent thinking and ignore fake knowledge. And I know Donald Trump says fake news a lot. Um, fake news goes on in finance all the time. It's just stories. You know, all these people telling you what happened and uh, basically it's all very convincing, but they couldn't actually trade. They may tell you after the event. You actually want to be able to think against the crowd. You need to be uncomfortable with your trades. A lot of people don't like standing on their own. Obviously, man is a kind of herd animal. We're sociable beings. We don't like being on our own, okay? All the great traders stand on their own and will go against the majority, okay? Now, in terms of point number five, um, why is Berkshire Hathaway so good. Why have they been at the top so long? Point number five um, is very relevant. They have a balance. They have a lot of patience, waiting for trades, and then they're very aggressive when they see a trade that they like, because good trades are rare. Now, they're rare in the share market. They're also rare in the Forex market as well. And most traders just can't sit around and wait. They can't be patient. They want to trade. They want the action. That's going to yeah, see you lose. Just take low odds trades. Wait for the big trades um, or the ones that are really good, okay, in terms of your method. And then you get very aggressive with them. And um, yeah, in terms of Warren Buffett, like all great investors, I say like George Soros, um, Tudor Jones, they will bet big. Okay, they're not frightened to bet big on the right opportunity. Okay, um, it's one of those things where, you know, they're not obviously excessively large with their positions, but they will bet a meaningful amount that if they lose a bit, it will hurt them. Okay, <laughs> it keeps them focused on the trade. You could probably get uh, just a few trades a month in Forex um, and make over 50% per annum, 100% per annum. I've seen plenty of people do that. And the rest of the time they don't do anything. Uh, Munger and Buffett say so they just sit around reading books most of the time and they're not doing anything. Now, I like point number six, because we've all done it. Don't try and be brilliant. Avoid being idiotic. Now, in terms of what he means by this is do not get sucked into frenzies. Okay, have self-control. When everyone is going crazy about an investment or a trade, step back and have self-control. And I think a lot of traders lose self-control. And in terms of this, and it was a recent example, Bitcoin. I mean, Bitcoin, I did a video saying Bitcoin was about to collapse, okay? And loads of people wrote to me, you know, really, you know, intelligent people, you know, people who've been decent traders for years as well, saying I was wrong. Now, I could have been wrong, but
but hey, a Bitcoin basically collapsed within a few weeks. And of course it's going to collapse because it was just basically a frenzy of buying of nothing. And that's what you get a lot of the time in the markets. We get frenzied selling where there is no end in sight. There's always an end in sight. Yeah. At the end of the day, as um, both Munger and Buffett said, you buy into fear and sell into greed. Wait for the extremes. They will give you fantastic trades. Okay. And I think, you know, sometimes we can all, you know, want to get in on something. It's the fear of missing out. You know, someone offered to pay me in Bitcoin once years ago. It wasn't much. It was a few hundred quid. It would have been worth, I think, about 150,000 if I'd have taken it in Bitcoin. I didn't. I took it in pounds sterling. Um, so, you know, it's one of those things. You've got to have self-control. Um, most people simply will get swept away um, in the frenzy of the story. Okay. Uh, best way to build knowledge and skill. Uh, in terms of money, he didn't learn, you know, the skills he needed for trading when he was at school. He learned them from really great people. Okay. And what he meant by that is he read a lot of books. He still reads a lot of books. I think it's um, Buffett and Munger are supposed to read about 500 pages a day each. And actually Munger said, yeah, I don't know anyone who's extremely successful who is not an avid reader. Um, I would actually go along with that. Um, the really successful people read. They want to expand their knowledge. They want to get some sort of edge. And yeah, I'll read lots of books on psychology. They'll tell me roughly the same thing, but there's maybe a different twist that I can use in my own thinking to help me. Um, so I think, you know, people who read uh, have a head start because reading, not only is it educational, it's very motivational as well if you're reading the right material, okay? Um, so, yeah, in terms of reading i've always said this that if you want your best education forex trading go to amazon.com we've got plenty of book lists of traders um you know who can be of all levels of experience you can pick up our top tens normally on amazon for about a hundred bucks a go or a hundred dollars sorry fantastic education and yet people will you know spend thousands to gurus online you know with amazon you can get the top psychologists the top traders and learn their wisdom All right what have we got next mistakes are good no one uh, no sorry excuses no one cares you're going to make mistakes it's inevitable you just have to correct them um the big sin is not correcting a mistake okay mistakes help you learn they help you progress no one got successful without making mistakes problem you got with most forex traders is they like excuses they'll blame anything they'll blame the wife yeah they had an argument they didn't watch their trade the person they took the tip from doesn't matter they do not want to admit it was them and, you know popular exclusive uh, sorry excuses no one could have seen that coming I've heard that so many times uh, excuses no one cares you know you can make excuses but who cares but you yeah, get over it. If the if you're used to making excuses, forget about that. You know, if you made mistakes, you just learn from them. You move on. That's part of your evolution as a trader. Point number nine: use checklists to control emotion and overconfidence. I think most successful traders do this. They know exactly how much they've got at risk in the market. Um, they'll basically know why they've entered the trade, the reasons, they'll know when those reasons don't become valid, they'll have a target, they'll basically monitor the trade, they'll have checklists to do this. Okay? If you have checklists, it avoids impulsive trades, okay, emotional trades, and also it can stop you getting overconfident. Many traders, for example, when they're winning, just suddenly double up their position, don't understand their risk, and then half their account or more is gone. I've seen that so often. So, you know, checklists and a plan are what you need as a trader, okay? Um, and, uh, you know, just keep you 
focused, disciplined and controlled. I mean, it's a basic point, yet most traders don't adhere to it. Uh, point 10, be ready for evolution is guaranteed. Sorry, be ready for change, evolution is guaranteed. The markets are always changing. Yeah, be it a share market or a Forex market. You know, markets change over time. You've got to change with the markets. When I first started trading, volatility extremely high. Today, volatility is a lot lower. You have to adjust or tweak your techniques and your method to compensate for that. Now, in the future, obviously, that might change as well. We might see bigger volatility. But you know, you've got to understand markets evolve, okay? Um, very organic. I think in terms of Charlie Munger, yeah, he says anyone can learn to be a trader, anyone can be successful. He is right, in my view. Um, I couldn't tell you how much each individual trader can make because yeah, everyone's got a different level. Okay, There's no question that anyone can become a skillful, confident trader who makes money over the longer term. Okay, Forex trading or any form of trading is not about intellectual um, achievement or ability. It's really about simple trading system, psychological control, okay, and thinking differently. And we can all do it if we want to. Most people don't want to do it. Most people don't want to go through the learning curve. Most people have the wrong motivation for trading. Most traders can lose. But we know if we follow these 10 points, we can uh, achieve in the Forex markets. Well, that's my view anyway. Right. Now, I'm just going to finish up with uh, 10 quotes from Charlie Munger, Timeless Investment Wisdom. Thank you very much for watching this video as usual. Take care and have a good day. Thank you.